Welcome to Tech Presents with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to arrange tables in folder by using a Custo query, and we will be using a dot alter table. And uh, here is the syntax. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and explore that uh, different options what we have there. So how we can uh, put our table into the main folders and subfolders, and how we can remove them. And uh, here I have uh, my database called the Tech Brothers DB and pretty name is the demo. Now what I'm doing here uh, in this uh, query, first of all, I'm creating a couple of tables. Um, see, dot create table customer and uh, column name integer and name is string. So it doesn't really matter whatever the columns you want to have it. Uh, so let's create this table. And uh, once you run this uh, query, you're gonna see a table appear right there on the left side. Uh, let's go and uh, create the second table now second table is there now think about that uh, this is uh, all the tables what you have right there they should be for the sale department uh, so how you will move them or create a folder and uh, put into the sale department folder now this is what you are going to do so you're going to say alter dot alter table and table name in this case is customer and then you will say folder and then uh, you can say and uh, double quotes around it and put this folder name uh, you can always include if you would like uh, you can always include uh, uh, at the rate sign that's gonna work as well and uh, if you don't put it even uh, this is gonna work as well so especially when you have subfolders uh, that's where I have seen the um, using the um, uh, the rate sign but anyways uh, let's go ahead and uh, run this statement uh, and now you see that uh, your uh, uh, customer table has uh, disappeared so now where did that go? So let's see right here we see the salary table and then a new tab is created called the tables here. Now click right there and here is our sale folder. Now you can see that it's folder and under the folder we have customer table. Our sale salary table is still outside and let's execute the second statement dot alter table salary table so and go to the folder sale run and now salary table is also appeared under the sale so you can uh, it's a really get uh, uh, very manageable it's a, it's, it's a really great help uh, to arrange them in some groups uh, or folders um, right so it kind of help that now what we can do we are going to create uh, three more uh, uh, tables here and then uh, we are going to create uh, subfolders in this case um, so I'm creating Asia customer, Europe cust uh, customer, and uh, North America customer tables. So let me create them one by one and uh, see right there, we created and Asia customer is created. Now what we are gonna do, we are gonna go for, go for Europe customer and then we are gonna go for a North America customer. See right there, these tables are created just fine. But uh, my idea is uh, to create a region folder and uh, in the region folder, create subfolders called Asia, Europe and North America and uh, maybe tomorrow I will create uh, other four tables and I would like to arrange them accordingly so in this case the Asia customer should be going uh, in the region folder and in the region they should be going to the Asia so let's uh, execute that one so see right here I have dot alter table table name folder at the rate sign double quotes and then uh, main folder and then subfolder so you that's how you are going to keep going so if you have subfold under asia you have another folder backslash another folder you know that's how you will put that okay so right here so once we run this uh, statement uh, what's going to happen our region folder is created uh, and under the region of folder asia folder is uh, subfolder is created and uh, once we click there our asia table has moved there so now what we need to do, we have to take care of Europe uh, table. It's right there on the right under the tables here, but we would like to create uh, our folder here and then put it there. Let's execute. And Asia, sorry, a Europe folder is created. Uh, now the table has moved there. Now what we are gonna do, we are going to run the third one that should create a North America subfolder. And it is created right here and table has moved under it. Uh, so this helps uh, to arrange uh, those uh, set of tables uh, under different folders. Um, that's great. But people can make mistakes and uh, I am one of them who make a lot of mistakes. Uh, now think about that. Uh, I, later on I decided like, oh, it gets actually very complicated uh, moving the, these all into the 
uh, region folders up. So, such as region is fine, but I don't want Asia, North America, Europe, and uh, maybe tomorrow I will have uh, Africa and all that. So it will get complex for me. I would like to have all these uh, tables in the region because each table also have the name itself, say in Asia customer, Europe customer, and the NA North America customer. So in rather having Asia, Europe, and North America subfolder, I would like to have only region folder. That's fine. So how you're gonna revert that back? So you're gonna say alter table and then table name folder and then provide the folder name whatever it is. So you don't have to go um, uh, just remove the backslash and the subfolder and leave to the main folder. Once you do that, what's gonna happen? Once uh, this table will be moved to the Asia uh, region folder up uh, and uh, this Asia folder get empty, it will be removed. So that's how it's gonna work. So look at this. So once I execute, see our uh, Asia customer is moved to the region now. So see right there, this is our region and under the region we have Asia customer and uh, that uh, Asia folder has been deleted. Now same thing what we wanna do for Europe and the uh, Europe uh, folder will be deleted. Okay, so no more Europe is there and it is it came under the region folder now. And same thing what we would like to do for North America. We don't want North America subfolder instead of we would like to have North America customer table right under the region. So this is how you will do that. Now, if you would like say, oh, I don't even care about region anymore. I would like to have them as it is under my tables. So that's possible. What you're gonna do, not a big deal. Just don't put anything. So right here, dot alter table, is your customer folder at the rate and just double quotes, double quotes. So no, no space, nothing inside. So double uh, run this query. Now your Asia customer has moved under the table zone. Same way what we can do, we can do for Asia, uh, North America, sorry, Europe and North America finally. And you see that once I move my tables out of the subfolders or folders, uh, the folder and subfolder has been gone. Once any folder is empty, it's not gonna be there. So see right there, the sale, sale folder still have uh, um, and these tables there because we did not remove them if we want to remove them we can you know the same way what you did for Asia customer Europe and North America so this is how you will be managing your list uh, tables in different folders and subfolders and moving them between uh, uh, the main folder or subfolder in case you needed them I will put the script in the description so it will help you uh, to use it thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video